my hair literally froze. <laughs> What's up and welcome back to the channel. Just drove the ambulance from Portland, Oregon down to Sacramento, Sacramento over to Tahoe. So I am at Squaw right now, about to go snowboarding with some friends. And then tomorrow gonna make a long journey out to some hot springs and just go explore out in the middle of nowhere on my way over to Salt Lake City. So let's go. These outdoor storage compartments are my favorite thing about the ambulance. Well, I don't know. I really like the lift and the four wheel drive too. All right, gotta throw these on and head out there and meet up with my friends. finished snowboarding tried to keep going towards Salt Lake City I was so exhausted I just couldn't really drive much farther so I pulled over at this gas station and now it is nighttime <laughs> but it's literally a gas station casino restaurant hybrid and I just pulled over here slept up there for two or three hours I was just beat but that's one of my favorite parts about the whole van life thing is anytime I need to I can just pull over and go to sleep it is now 9 30 and I'm gonna drive another hour or two that way tomorrow I got a lot shorter of a drive to get to these hot springs so I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat and let's do it <laughs> $4.49 a gallon for diesel. That is the cheapest I've seen. Why are you beeping? I don't even know if this gas station's open. It's like heavily locked up. And hopefully I can get gas here because $4.49 is the cheapest I've seen in a while and I'm not trying to pay six plus dollars a gallon for diesel when I have 55 gallons in this thing. Okay, this is a complete joke. It capped out at $50, which got me 11 out of 55 gallons. That's ridiculous. All right, round two. It, it somehow let me pump it again. Usually doesn't do that. All right, round three. I used another credit card and there's another 50 bucks, another 11 gallons. And here goes round four. Begin round five. All right, drove another little bit, but it is midnight, so I'm going to find a place to sleep. All I have is this red light. This one doesn't really do much, so that's why it's super bright red right now. But pulled over at this exit. I was looking on the maps, and I think I found a spot. I'm gonna drive out into the middle of nowhere and try to find a good spot to sleep for the night. There we go. Coming up to a gate in the road. Looks like they don't want you going this way. Look at this out here, this is nuts. I found another road that I think might go around that gate. The snow is wild out here. I'm driven pretty damn far back this road. It doesn't seem to be getting any better out here. And I lost cell service, so I'm gonna go back a little bit, get back to cell service so I can at least watch some Netflix tonight. And now I gotta try to do a three point turn and not get stuck in this sand. Looking like this is home for the night. Doesn't look like much, but we'll see what it looks like in the morning. I am going to go crawl into the back and pass out. See you in the morning. All right, I just rolled out of bed. It's time to see what this place looks like because I have no idea what it looks like here. Oh my God, it's so bright. Oh, that's not bad. This is a pretty cool spot. Oh man, I am so tired. I slept like three hours for some reason. <laughs> beginning of the dirt road all the way out to these hot springs. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna 
freaking RV flipped on its side over there. A little bit swampy here. I did not even realize that I was sinking. All right, this might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. There's washer and dryer, or washer and mini fridge. This is crazy. You can see the rooftop AC, some of the vent holes. Hello? Yeah, this thing has uh, seen better days. It's crazy that people just abandon stuff like this and just leave it for trash. It's such a shitty move. Let's get back in this thing and see if we can't find a way up this hill. I'm just afraid of sinking in this really soft, muddy sand. There's only one way to find out, I guess. Well, look at that. out here I gotta be careful I don't have a winch and I don't have anybody out here to pull me out I got mud flying everywhere I feel like it might be a smart move to put this thing in four-wheel drive just in case I do hit anything four-wheel engaged I was not prepared for that at all. I didn't get to film it because it just came up out of nowhere and the road got really bad, so I had to just kind of floor it and make it through it. But look at this. It was just all through here was a disaster. I was sliding off the side of the road, really crooked. So I'm gonna throw the drone up and have it just follow me in case there's any more crazy stuff because I can't really film with the GoPro while I'm driving. So we will switch to drone video right now. Caught behind the nation blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become I don't know. I, I'm nervous out here because I have nobody to help me and look at this. This is just a mess. The hot springs like right over there, but if I wrap around, I can drive almost right to it. And there's some fresh tracks, so someone might be out here or someone might have been out here and then went out a different way. This is questionable. Thank God I have this four wheel driver. I would have been screwed a long time ago. All right, I think this is doable. Come up to a cattle gate. Undo this. I thought it was gonna be a casual drive on a forest service road or like a little simple dirt road, but it's a muddy disaster out here. I made it! I see the hot spring. Holy shit, I didn't think I was gonna make it here. Now this is awesome. It's a little bathtub. I'm gonna park right next to this bathtub here and get in that water because it is cold out here and that drive, I need something warm like a hot spring to relax after that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hot springs, hot springs. Oh, you gotta fill it up. Hell yes. Rinse it out. All right, let's take a little plug. Hey, let's let it fill up. I am so happy right now. At least until it's time to leave and then I gotta fight that gnarly road to get back to civilization. Just about all filled up. Ready to hop in this thing. And unfortunately, we have assholes who come out to beautiful places like this and just leave all of their trash. Ugh, there's broken glass everywhere. Beer cans all over the place. So, okay, I forgot a towel, so I went back, got a towel and a trash bag for these people's garbage. How hard is it to just take out what you brought in? I don't get it. But anyways, I'm gonna get in here and enjoy this. Oh boy, that's hot as shit. Ouch. Ooh, painfully hot right now. I'm hoping that it cools down. Look at these views though. Got the house right there. Tub, my jackery to charge everything. I'm about to just put on some music, drink beer, and enjoy this life. <laughs> 
And I said it in an older video, whenever I hit 200,000 subscribers, I'll fly one of you guys out to join me to do whatever you feel like doing. If you wanna go to some hot springs and just hang out, drink some beers, if you're of age, or if you wanna go caving, cliff jumping, anything you wanna do, I'll fly you out to wherever I'm at at the time and we can just do whatever and just hang out. You can check out the ambulance. I think it'd be cool to bring somebody out and enjoy the, the stuff that I normally do. Thank you guys always for supporting. So let's try to pump those numbers up to 200,000. Super thankful for all of you guys that have followed so far. I am going to throw some music on, relax, and enjoy this life. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> try to make it to the next hot spring before it gets dark out. It's a little bit far away, so I'm gonna grab all my stuff, pack up, hit the road. stuck out there. It, it, was, it was getting pretty bad. How are you doing? Good, What's up? I'm just trying to get back to the highway. And I found this road and it came out this way. But yeah, that one back there? Yeah, I shut it and wired it back up. But yeah, I closed it up and I'm heading out. Okay. Sorry about that, man. He was not very happy with me being on his property, but I closed his gate. There was no other way out for me, which is my own fault. They're turning around. They literally just drove back just because they saw me back there. I am almost back to the highway and now it's on to the next hot spring. Hopefully it is not nearly as bad as that one was. Uh, they were probably so confused. The highway, thank God. All right, let's do it. Another almost two hours on the highway and we are finally back on dirt road again to the next hot spring. There's somebody in front of me going the same place so I'm wondering if there's gonna be a decent amount of people at this one. But the views out here are pretty sick. Luckily I'm getting here right before it gets dark. Oof, Jesus. This road is so bumpy. At least it's solid though. It's not muddy like the last hot spring. Gotta drive real slow on this car in front of me stopped. This spot looks really bad. There's not enough room for me to turn around, so I'm gonna have to just try it. I have pretty high clearance, but they probably don't look bad on camera, but these little dips are very steep. And now look at this big ass mud hole. Piece of cake, baby. This is freaking gorgeous out here. I literally might be too wide to go through this. Okay, another obstacle. Oh, damn it. This thing looks like it could be very deep, but the car in front of me must've went through it. I didn't see them. I don't know, must not be that bad. I found a measuring device. It's not, oh, it's actually, oh, that spot's a little bit deeper. Like that's the deepest point right there. It's not that bad. Hell yeah, I'm going for it. So much 
much worse than I expected. Just gotta go through the river and then I gotta make sure I stay left because it looks like a giant death puddle right there. Not too much farther to go, I'm almost there. All right, I'm pulling up to some cars right now. One looks like it's stuck, but I'm not sure. No, they, they look very stuck where they're at. They're like half parked in the river, half out, but they just pulled up right next to the hot spring so that people that were getting out didn't have to walk far to get into the truck. Pretty nice people. All right, well, I didn't make it here before dark, unfortunately. So I'm gonna take some lights and go scope out this spot, see if there's any better place for me to park. There's another river crossing. I am going to go scope everything out, chill for the rest of the night, and uh, catch you guys first thing in the morning. This is just a little bonus clip. Um, I met a bunch of people in the hot spring tonight, and then on my walk back to the ambulance, which is like 50 feet, my hair literally froze. I don't know if you could tell right now, but the ends are like solid. because It's so freaking cold and windy outside right now. Hung out with some people in the hot spring, had a couple drinks, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna jump in them real quick and then start my drive to Salt Lake City. So, see you in the morning. All right, good morning. Good morning. Oh, oh gosh, I'm so tired. I got the winter clothes on because I know it's gonna be freezing outside. But let's go see what this place looks like in the daytime. Ooh. So this is the hot spring right here, the super long pool. Bridge. Another guy's still here. That, that guy's name is also Brandon. He helped me do a nine point turn in the ambulance to get it turned around back here because it's so tight. But this whole thing right here is super warm. Just one gigantic hot tub right there. Hung out in that thing for a couple hours last night and it was great. Back across the little bridge. makes this place freezing cold. I gotta inspect the dirt bike carrier because I know it hit the ground a couple times last night on the way in. And honestly, it does not look bad. I got a lot of mud caked up in there. I'm gonna get some drone shots and then I'm going to work on getting out of this road and head over to Salt Lake City. I'm not gonna get in the water this morning just cause I don't feel like dealing with the freezing cold run back and forth. So I'm just gonna pack up and get out of here. This is where I was parked for the night. got pushed in because it hit a tree. <laughs> All right, we have made it back to pavement. It's just right over there. I'm gonna hop back in this thing, hit the highway, head over to Salt Lake City, continue the adventures. I should say welcome. Welcome to nowhere, Nevada. Sure as hell feels like that. There is nothing out here. <laughs> about to pull into the Diesel Brothers shop. I don't know if you guys follow them on social media, but they are huge and they build the craziest contraptions like that monster truck school bus right there. Jesus, look at that thing. All right, I'm gonna go inside, but I'm gonna leave the camera here. I'm just gonna go try to check everything out and then I'll take the camera over to the giant vehicles they have in the parking lot. I went inside, talked to the people, came outside and talked to a bunch more people and was just hanging out. Completely forgot to film anything. So I literally drove back the next day, today, it is tomorrow already. I wanna show you guys some of this crazy stuff here. Look at that monster. Holy shit. For size comparison, there's like my ambulance in a car, but that, that thing makes my ambulance look like a little toy. Like that is so wild to me. And then look at this thing. Oh, okay, okay. This is my head. My head comes to the bottom of the body of this thing. These are so wild. 
But yeah, this is the Diesel Brothers shop. I've seen this thing on TV. I've seen it on a couple YouTube videos and it's really cool to get to see this thing in person. And they have a, uh, a ladder underneath just so they can get inside. So I you showed up. That ambulance? <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, they approve, so you, you know. Got a lot to it, TikTok. Be nice. I know TikTok has been tearing me apart. You know, hey, I know. I'm six foot nine. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's massive. <laughs> Perfect timing showing up today because my dumb brain forgot to film while I was here yesterday, and you know, it happens. Worked out. Worked, worked out. Worked out better. Now you got the bus, the ambulance, and we got mm -hmm. to see you. Exactly. I need you to get myself a filmer and editor. Then I don't forget those things. You These ones are off limits, man. So I don't <laughs> well. Thank you guys for watching. Do all the things, like, comment, subscribe, and all the things they tell you to do on the YouTubes, and see you next Wednesday. <laughs>